Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Not sure my presentation will be as uh, uh, blissful to uh, your tummies, and uh, but hopefully it's going to be good for your for your ears and for your brains. Um, I would like to wish you a beautiful evening uh, to everyone and direct some words of gratitude to Susanna for inviting me uh, to this place. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Michelle Metzler, and let me see how this works. Okay. There we go. And together with my husband, uh, we have founded uh, Oyanu Earth, a platform where world's top futurists, healers, and innovators are meeting and fusing Eastern wisdoms with uh, Western technologies. Basically, all the tools uh, human beings need in order to uh, achieve the appropriate balance in their lifestyle. I'm sure Eva will relate to that. Thank you for that beautiful introduction to, to this topic. Um, ten years ago, um, if someone would have told me that I'll be able to help to facilitate healing process for cancer patients and for people with uh, multiple sclerosis without being a doctor, um, guide others through their, in, uh, through their tr inner transformation without being a therapist um, or being part of research group which discovered a product which blocks transmission of COVID-19. I would probably laugh and I would say, well, that cannot be me because I'm just a girl who likes to uh, design things. Um, but 10 years ago, um, that girl originally from a small village in southern Moravia got a job in New York. And I was not very intrigued by um, moving to, uh, to New York. I was very happy staying in, in Czech Republic. Uh, but I moved here. Uh, I tried to prove myself in the world of design and meanwhile pursuing my inner calling, which is to help people um, with, to help people around the world to just feel better and, and be better. And that turned out to be the opportunity of my, my life. After some personal battle with uh, burnout syndrome back in 2017, I've established a nonprofit organization, My Life, My Planet. Uh, we had the great opportunity to meet with uh, Dalai Lama, and uh, we were helping to facilitate the connection between Eastern healing systems and uh, Western, uh, Western world. It was, everything was amazing until COVID hit, of course, and the traveling was banned and we couldn't really uh, uh, move on. And um, therefore we had decided to create physical spaces or communities or uh, resorts, if you will, accessible to United States and Europe where uh, we facilitate access to the world's top healers, therapists, wisdom keepers, and all, all these enlightened people who can help us to embark on a transformation journey. It's basically a closed loop system which offers a professional guidance and is built on a foundation of prevention over intervention. You know, here is something really very interesting. Um, research published in the Journal of Biogerontology shows that our maximum lifespan this is some indigenous stuff we're doing, actually. Um, our our uh, uh, maximum life scan, lifespan can be approximately up to 125 years. But unfortunately, the way we operate this vehicle, our own body, uh, with all the external factors in this world we are living in, uh, invites uh, all the ailments like high, high blood pressure, heart ailments, and other diseases. Now I'm asking you, where is the problem? If someone of you knows, you probably do. The problem is in the exact same place as the solution. The problem is right here. The problem is that we are not um, taking into consideration the entire mind-body-spirit connection. And um, our health and well-being is a complex and interconnected system. And the mind, body, and spirit is not a cliche. Uh, one is affecting the other, uh, just like the, uh, the, the famous iceberg uh, uh, theory, uh, where just the top of the iceberg are the things which are really annoying us and we kind of decide to do something with them, but the real problem lays under the water and the real work lays uh, inside and 
we can we are able to eliminate the top those issues which are bothering me by dealing with uh, whatever is under under the water so here we are now entering the era of something what we call humanity 3.0 uh oh <laughs> An era where society is eager to double up their lifespan. Um, same like it was in the 17th century when uh, in Boston the first medical society was um, established and founded. The lifespan was doubled um, from 30 to 70 years old approximately. And right now people are eager to go from 70 to 120. And that's where we come in, that's where OYA comes in handy, uh, because um, we can support all of these things. Um, OYA is a project very close to my heart, but there is um, another thing what I would like to mention, because prevention on over intervention has always been our mantra. I would like to, um, Oh, we, we pretty much started with our husband. We invested vast amount of, of our money into a biotech research company based in Rwanda and Israel, uh, which was studying positive effects of our proprietary extract made out of cassava. Now, finally, after many, many years, um, our original cancer research, we, we have landed a huge success with a natural made lozenge, which successfully blocks transmission of COVID-19. And because timing played it so well uh, for, for today's um, event, um, ladies and gentlemen, you will be the first one hearing here our public announcement of our confirmed human trial, which hopefully can one day, very, very soon, um, help our issue, ongoing issue, with never-ending COVID uh, pandemic. And because I am a proud citizen of Czech Republic, I will do my very, very best to bring this to Czech, Czech, Czech Republic and Slovakia as soon as possible. Thank you very much for um, your attention.